Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Okay, first of all, I am so sorry that I'm so inconsistent with my videos. Honestly, I just lose my mojo for YouTube because I just, I go through phases. And now I'm kind of just like wanting to just put out as much content as I possibly can now that we're all in isolation. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today is giving you guys a video. Um, as you can see from the title, we're going to be talking about motivation through isolation. Now, obviously I'm massive on motivation and it's one of my biggest, strongest points that I feel like is that I can... I'm very consistent with my motivation. I don't very lack it or lose it that often. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a few tips that I that you could use to implement into your daily life that's going to keep you on track with your goals. So, first of all, I think it's very important if you guys are struggling with like your food, your motivation to do like work at home if you're working from home, studying, um, eating healthy, obviously like working out at home, all these things, and just being like stuck at home can be like make literally can make you go crazy like i've been living out of home for like two years and i've had to recently move back home and honestly it's not that bad but i do miss my own space like it definitely makes a difference from li living by myself or like living with housemates rather than like living at home with my parents um or with my mum and it's not terrible like it is really good and i'm really appreciating appreciating mum for letting me live here um under the circumstances so i think it's just like for the first thing i would just say and just be grateful. Now, a lot of people really don't understand what it means to be grateful. Um, and I'm really trying to implement that onto every single person that is engaged with me and like watches my content and stuff like that. I really start to implement a lot of gratitude because I feel like it is so important now that we are in this time where we can forget about the important stuff because we're distracted by all this crazy crap that's going on in the world, I think it's really important that you still are grateful for things because there is people that have it worse than us, you know? We're lucky that in Australia, we're not in complete lockdown yet. So, you know, we still have the ability to go outside, whereas people in like other countries don't even get that, um, you know, they don't, they're not that fortunate, you know, they don't get to leave their house. Like they're literally in complete lockdown. So we're grateful that that hasn't happened to Australia yet and I'm not sure if it's gonna happen to Australia um, but anyways I think it's just beautiful it's a really good thing to just wake up and be grateful for something because if you start your day in like a positive light it's hopefully by the end of the day it's still gonna be positive regardless if you you know lost a job you lost clients um, you know you've lacked your motivation to go to the gym at least you can start your day with the first positive thing which is just being grateful for something so I've always been writing either write my gratitude down or I like think about it in my head so I'm currently like writing things down as we're talking right now because I don't want to miss anything but um it's one thing that I'm really passionate about is just being grateful for things and breathing doing some meditating is really um important as well I don't do it as often as I should it's definitely something I want to be implementing more but um yeah just being grateful for things is like the number one tr um, tip that I'll give you guys to keep yourself motivated the second thing would be getting up and just moving your body now this could be literally anything this could literally just be getting up in the morning um and going for a walk around the block taking your dogs out um doing a workout like literally just get up and move your body the first thing in the morning like the first like basically i'm going to do a whole video based on my morning routine because it's been pretty consistent as of recently especially my morning routine now in isolation that's going to be another video that i'll be doing but like basically the first thing i do is i get up and i i always i'm always awake to the brightness of my room so i leave my blinds open so that it wakes my body up so I'm not having to use an alarm, so I'm not sleeping in. Like the worst thing, I hate sleeping in. I hate it because I feel like I've just wasted a lot of my day. Like a sleep in to 7.30, 8 o'clock is way too much for me. Like I want to be up and ready to start my day by 6, 6.30. I know that sounds crazy, but once you start implementing that into your daily life, it just becomes a routine, so I don't want to break my routine. Like for example, yesterday, I didn't get out of bed until 8 a.m. and I was so out of it. Like I literally had no motivation to do anything. I didn't want to do my assignments. I didn't want to contact clients. I didn't want to do a workout. I literally, did, and I kept eating. I was binge eating like crap yesterday. Um, and that was just because I broke my morning routine. So if you find something that works for you, just 
try as hard as you can to keep consistent with it so that stuff like that doesn't happen because if you break your routine that's when you'll find that you'll start doing and you'll go backwards in your life and you'll start doing the things that you don't want to do and that you used to do before I mean I guess before you started implementing these morning routines into your life well, it was a lot of words. So yeah, just get up and move your body and do something active. Um, I always go for walks. Like literally my favorite thing is going for a walk, um, especially with my puppies. I, again, because I love my dogs and they bring me the most joy and happiness in the world. But um, it's really nice to take them out for walks because they get so excited. They're so happy to go out for walks. And then, you know, like that just brings you joy. You know, you're bringing joy to another, like another thing, even though it's a dog. They are, you know, just as uh, important to the world as humans are. So it's really important that you get up and do something. Um, the third thing, or oh, the second thing I would say would be listen to, um, a third thing I would say would be listen to a podcast. Now, I'm so, um, like, passionate about these. And there was a time recently, like, as of the start of the year, I, like, kind of fiddled out of podcasts and audiobooks and, like, personal development. And that was because I was just going through my own struggles. And when I go through my own, own struggles, I tend to close off from the world and I don't um, stay consistent with my goals. And that's definitely something that I think a lot of people do is that they just kind of, like, they're like a roller coaster like they'll start up here and they're like hell yeah I'm gonna go to the gym every single day I'm gonna listen to a podcast every single day and then they'll do that for like a week or two weeks or three weeks and then they'll just like fall down and then when they fall down they really struggle to get back up and I feel like that's a lot of people and it's not just me and I mean I'm pretty fortunate that I don't struggle to get back up once I fall down and I've noticed I've fallen down I'm pretty quick to get back up to where I want to be but that's because I've got my mindset clicked on to where my goals are and what I want to do with my life um, and going down this spiral isn't going to get me there so listening to a podcast or some sort of um, personal development audiobook um, I can literally give you a list of my favorites um, audiobooks and podcasts and I'll just list them down in the description you guys can go check them out because obviously podcasts are free okay you can literally go onto Spotify and go onto the podcast app in Apple um, like on your phone and listen to all these podcasts are free audiobook audiobook isn't free but it's such a, an investment that you guys should get into because you can literally get so many amazing books and value out of that one app um, and they are amazing I highly recommend getting onto audiobook and listening to podcasts another thing that I really highly recommend that you guys get onto is get like a program or some sort of plan out for what you want your day to look like um, for example I obviously like I'm not going to toot my own horn here but I do have my own online programs and they are not just designed for workouts they are designed for like mindset goal setting um, nutrition all those things and they help you set your day up but get yourself some sort of plan that you can like stick to so if that means just like going on to a Sunday afternoon Sunday night if you guys can get yourself a book and just write down those things that you want to achieve on the week um, and this is so important. You don't have to like set goals. Like I know obviously goal setting is a really important thing and I really highly recommend that you guys get onto it. It does help with your mindset and then achieving those things and keeping yourself accountable. But just get a book that you can write down those things that you really want to do this week. So it could literally just be as simple as working out twice in, at home. It could be as simple as stick, sticking to like your calories for the week. Um, it could be as simple as just making sure that you're doing 30 minutes of exercise every day. Like it literally could be as small and as simple as that, but it helps you in your own personal development to want to achieve that goal. Um, and that's going to keep you accountable as well. So I understand that all of this is good and well and amazing, but if you don't have the motivation to do it, you're not going to want to do it. So I guess my number one tip to staying motivated is keep thinking about why you have decided to do these things in your life. Like that's why I am so motivated to keep training, to keep hustling on my business, to keep doing my assignments, to keep studying, to keep learning, to keep listening to podcasts is because why will I let the dilemma like this affect my like journey like I've worked so hard for where I am today I have literally done so much for myself the last two years of starting this why would I just let a pandemic like this destroy that for me obviously it's horrible and it's sad and we are all feeling it we are all in this together but it's important that you keep reminding yourself of the reasons why you've decided to do this in the first place so I recommend that every single day you have a plan of what you want to achieve that day get your body up moving listen to a podcast, move your body, get some active um, 
like movements, do a workout. Honestly, guys, home workouts have changed my life and I'm so, so excited to be doing them because they are a mental push, I feel, and because you're obviously pushing yourself, it is something that you do have to like constantly think about in your head. You haven't got a trainer standing next to you. You haven't got people with you pushing you in a group setting. You have to push yourself. So that's another thing that we're trying to like trick your mind, trick your body into doing things for yourself rather than um, relying on gyms and PTs and group fitness and um, you know all those like all those influences to help you through a workout. I guess another thing that I would also recommend for you guys is to help you stay motivated is to, to implement self-care into your life. Um, and I, when I mean self-care, I don't mean like putting face mask on and like obviously I put on makeup today and I haven't put on makeup in so long and it felt amazing, right? It felt amazing to just sit down and put makeup on today. But that's not what I mean. I don't mean just go and put face mask on and, you know, paint your nails or put makeup on. Self-care is literally absolutely everything that you want to do that's going to make you feel better. So obviously getting up and moving your body is a, is a self-care moment. Listening to a podcast is self-care. Meditation is self-care. Um, in, um, investing in a gratitude like journal, something that you can write down. Um, implementing manifestation into your life like these things are what are going to help you stay motivated so that you don't lack that um attitude and that um mindset that you had prior to this pandemic and it's really important that you guys are just consistent with it because what's the point in doing it for a few days and then getting bored and then just binging in again and it's a really it's a really beautiful thing when you start to actually get into a routine because you'll start to notice these things. You'll start to notice if you forget in something in your morning routine, it's gonna put you off. Um, I didn't even think about it until later on last night when I was like, hang on a second, what was that one thing that I didn't do this morning? That was get up and go for a walk. Um, and yeah, that's basically it guys. Honestly, I really hope that you're all doing well and that you're safe and you're trying to stay indoors. The one thing that I'm really like praying and hoping to is that this nightmare is over so soon and so we can get back to our normal more normal lives but i'm hoping this video has helped you in some way i hope that you can shed some light onto your current situation and i hope that this video has helped you understand um and i, I guess want to implement these steps into your life so that you can still be motivated to do those things that you wanted to do. So remember guys, I do have my online programs that I've launched. They are only $30 for four weeks of personalized workouts, dem uh, video demonstrations, online chats, Zoom calls, nutrition calls, goal setting chats. Um, am I missing anything? Oh yeah, and you also receive 20% off um, Lean Blend sidewide. So Lean Blend is an amazing company that I have been working with and I'm so grateful to have those guys in my life. But if you are interested in any of those, um, check out my Instagram because my Instagram has literally all the information that you'll ever need and yeah, follow my journey as you know, we can all help each other at the end of the day and get each get through this together. We gotta stay together. We gotta to unite as one, you know? That's it for me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, again, subscribe, like this video if you're interested. Comment below if you wanna know any more other videos I'm gonna be doing. I obviously wanna do more videos if I can. Um, but yeah, have a beautiful day wherever you guys are, and I will chat to you on the next one. Bye, guys. Mwah.